Shalom Aleichem. I wanted to translate to you guys this amazing uh, part of that wonderful book, um, book of halls, the Sefer Heichalot from Otsar HaMidrashim, the treasure of, um, of Midrashim, of the scripts, ancient scripts. <sighs> so awesome, like so fantastic, so impossible to grasp and understand. The greatness, the greatness of the connection between the Creator and the people of Israel, how precious we are um, to Him. Very important every time we mention that, that the nation of Israel are not only the Jewish people. Of course, all the Jewish people are Israeli people, but the people of Israel are all 12 tribes, not only Jewish. The Jewish people are one out of twelve, is one tribe, the tribe of Yehuda. But the tribe of Yehuda is one out of twelve when all the rest of the tribes are still in the exile and looking for their way back. Some of them remember their connection to Israel. They remember that they are from the tribe of God or tribe of Asher or Shimon or Naphtali and on. And some of them don't know who they are. They think they're Muslims, they think they, they're they Christian. <laughs> Some of them even think that, uh, that the Jewish people are are evil. Like, and, and they're still from, from the nation of Israel. Like, some of, of you guys that has problem with the people of Israel you don't understand that you're like have issues with your brothers but it's okay with time we're gonna find a way to to compromise to come to peace to understanding so rabbi ishmael said that he heard from rabbi akiva that rabbi akiva heard from rabbi eliezer ben horkinus that since the day that the torah was given from Hashem, by Hashem, to Moses, till the day that the second temple was built. So the Torah was given, but the glory of the Torah was not given. So the wisdom of the Torah was given. We know the rules and we know exactly what we should do and all the obligations and all the, 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 the the wisdom that is behind it and the secret and Kabbalah and many aspects of the wisdom of the Torah was given to us, but its beauty, its glory, its shine still has not been given to us. And its greatness and its beauty and its fear and its crown and its pride and all its um, power and, and all its light was not given yet until that they will be given in the time that the last temple, the third temple, temple will be built and the Shekhinah will, will stay in it. That was the first part. The people of Israel stood to complain in front of their father in heaven and to tell him, Many troubles you put on us. Which of them we should on, on which of them we will be caught? You put on us a huge burden and heavy weight. You told us, build the temple, and even though that you're building the temple, you should learn Torah. How can it be? You're telling a person he needs to do something and while he's doing it, you tell him you're obligated to do something else. It's too hard for us. We don't know how to do that. So Hashem answered, the reason why I told you to do those two things was because you were lazy for a long, long time before. Between the exiles, means in the time of greatness, in times that the temple were built. I was desiring to hear the voice of my Torah coming out of your mouths, but you were not doing nice and you have not learned enough 
and I was upset with you that when you had comfort you were not learning enough. So I did brought, I brought the, so I did, I brought on my city, on my house and on my children the decree to destroy the city of Yerushalayim and destroy the second temple, the first and second temple and the children that went to the exile and suffered a lot. But look at what Hashem, the Creator is saying, but I did not do a nice thing when I was standing against you and I set the verdict on you. But because that I said it, for sure that it's standing for a long, long time. And it can be for one year or 10 years or 30 years and maybe even 100 and more. But Hashem is saying, the Creator is saying, the truth is that you rebuked me and you fought with me in prayers. And it was very well that thing that you do, that you did. And I accepted your rebuke on me because I love the prayer of Israel and it's cover, covering me with pleasure. And the words that you said landed into my ears and were graceful for me and accepted for, on me the words of your mouths. And you, in the house of my free choice, the chosen house, you will sit and learn Torah and the Torah will not go off your mouths. Never stop being said from your mouths because the one who owns all wonders I am, the one who owns the powers I am, the one who makes the miracles and everyone are wondering how am I doing the wonders I do while standing in front of my throne. Who is the one that paid me first before I rewarded him? Who was the one who called me and I never answered him? Please tell me right now all your requests. The house of my treasures and the house of my wealth is open for you right now. There is not one thing that is lack in them. Ask your requests and they shall be given to you. The desire of your spirit will be done because there is no time like this time and there is no moment like the current one that my love to you is glued to my heart. Is there a better text than that? Is there something that is nicer than that, that we can learn, that we can understand? Such beauty, such amazing, amazing lesson, such greatness, the connection that based on love and appreciation and, and admiration of the children of Israel to their Creator, to the Father in Heaven that leads us and nev never ever left us. May that connection be strong and solid and will shine among all the nations. Amen.